64% of Americans say they will not vote for Trump in the 2024 election. That is what you would think if you opened up X right now. That is what you would think if you opened up almost any news outlet right now. They are, they're blasting that as a headline based on a new poll that's out. I'm going to bring up this article from the Associated Press. Of course, it's from the Associated Press, right? A formerly reputable organization that has devolved. So this is an AP poll, and it's being taken wildly out of context. The reason that we're talking about this is because this, this little phrase that's trending, 64% of Americans say they will, not, they will not vote for Trump, that's not true. What this poll actually says, if you open it up, if you read it yourself, which we have to do now, don't we? Because no one, no one portrays what they're talking about accurately. This is what the poll actually says. Most Republicans, 74%, say they would support him, meaning Donald Trump, in November of 2024, but 53% of Americans say they would definitely not support him if he is the nominee. Another 11% say they would probably not support him in November of 2024. So if that's not math that's particularly difficult, 53% plus 11 would be 64%, but 64% of Americans did not say definitively that they would not vote for Donald Trump. 53% of Americans might have said that, but those 11% just said that they probably wouldn't support him. That is not the same. 11% is a huge margin, and what, what the Associated Press is trying to do is they're trying to portray it as in the vast majority of Americans hate Donald Trump and would never cast their vote. But that's not what their poll showed. In fact, if you scroll down a little bit further, these numbers are not terribly different than the numbers about Joe Biden. Listen to this. The Associated Press writes, just 43% of Americans say they would definitely not support Biden in a general election with another 11% saying they probably wouldn't. So isn't that funny how that's portrayed totally differently? That they use the word just, as in only 43% say they would definitely not support him, while 53% say they definitely wouldn't support Trump. That's not terribly different, especially given that these opinion polls almost never play out the way that they are portrayed. They never play out in elections the way they are portrayed now. But if you wanted to portray this the same way, then you would say that 54% of Americans would not vote for Joe Biden in a general election. But of course they don't portray it like that. They want the other phrase about Trump trending and they don't want you to know any of the context, none at all. 